All right, so you mount some tires. Uh, these ones are egged out. Uh, I think this one's actually cracked in here, and the other one was egged out. One of the two. But anyway, first thing you want to do is pull your valve core out. Uh, you can do that with a little valve core tool. This is what your valve core looks like. So, take your valve core out, and then we'll take a big slide hammer bead breaker. And we're going to break the bead. These might pop off because they're old tires. Uh, or they might not. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to put it on the ground. You're going to hit them right here. And you pop the bead in on both sides. You're going to remove the tire from this end towards the big opening. Uh, with some tire spoons. And uh, then we're going to put it back on. So I'm using this Murphy's Tire and Lube Mounting Compound to do it. So let's get started. that clean and put some of this tire lube in there so that it doesn't tear the bead when it comes off. It's kind of like a grease. on the tire to hold it down into the groove. up here and lubricate the other side of the bead.
So you got the valve stem, it's a 916 nut on top. It just goes in the back with a rubber grommet. Tighten it down and once it's tight, it holds the air in. Again, so they seat nice. You don't have to put tons of pressure on there. Now with the outside bead, I lubricate the inside as well because that's what you're going to have to get over the lip on the outside or the top. Do that one. does not always go that easy. Sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. You don't want to keep standing on it so it pushes the bead into the groove where it needs to be. Take too big of a bite because I can tear it. So I didn't tighten this one. I just kind of held that with a pair of pliers. Um, so I got one of these locking attachments here. Uh, these ones are actually going on pretty easy. Um, kind of bend this down a little bit. That's what's aiming towards the hole a little better. Kind of get it oriented where the beetle seat. Sometimes you gotta roll it a little bit.
Okay, right there. So we managed to seal up. Let that put air in it. Keep checking it. Don't go above your recommended. Um, don't go above your recommended pressure. 120. So throw a plate over to 120. Make sure your beads are lubricated properly so they just kind of slip on. Otherwise, they might not go on. They'll stick. Uh, generally, you want these caged so they don't explode. So I don't think that's as much of an issue now as it used to be with the split rims because those had like a band in them and those could explode a lot easier than these. They had to be just right. But for safety reasons. So if you cannot get your bead to seat, then you can get one of these. It's a bead seater and you fill it up with air, obviously. Shut it off and then you hold it up right to the edge of the bead. So this will be the tire, or this will be the rim, and then the tire will be over here. You hold it right in there, and then you pop it. It's going to be loud. It's going to push pretty hard. And what that does is it puts air into the tire, and it inflates it just enough so it catches. It just kind of throws it open, so it'll catch the bead. These aren't very much money. They're like 60 70 bucks, maybe 100 if that. But they are well worth their weight in gold, because... Uh, if you got to fight with them, it definitely makes it much easier. So, that's how you mount tires. Uh, in case you're wondering. And uh, anyway, so hope that can help somebody. Thanks for watching.